All right, so I only have 15 minutes before you guys are coming into class anyway, so I'm gonna try to make this video short, um, even though it is kind of involved. So now you have your code, you verified it on your computer in the simulation software. You can see that the software that we're gonna use to run this machine is the same exact software that you use in your simulation, so it is exactly the same setup. Um, so. To get it to the computer, this is not connected to the network, so you can't go to your student drive or anything like that. You have to get a USB stick, there's one of our little Lego ones, and um, put your NC code, N as in Nancy, C as in code, NC code, um, on the USB stick and plug it into our machine. Okay, and we're gonna open up our NC code. Okay. So you just find it, find the USB, just like opening up any USB. And there's my NC code. Okay, so there, there it is, it's all set up. I, I'm not worried about you guys reading the NC code. It's exactly the same NC code that we had in uh, the video in the last one. That's not what I wanna focus on right now. What I wanna focus on is how do you actually take that code and then mill your initials into the block, all right? So what we're gonna do is first of all, we need to, whenever you open up the software, you have to home the machine. And there's a little home up there. And so you hit home. And you can actually, I don't know if you can see in the video, but we can, this is actually moving around just a little bit. I think it's actually in the home position already. So it won't move that much, but it is uh, in the home position. It is homing right now, okay? So that's the very first thing you have to do when you open the software. Once that's done, we can open up the windshield, okay, or open up the protective shield. Now we can actually get in there. We're gonna take the block of wood that you're gonna mill. We're gonna mount it. You wanna line it up. Okay, I'm gonna make it jiggly for a second. We're gonna line it up right here. We wanna make it as close to that line as possible, all right? Um, that's not really how you would make it super accurate in industry, but we're just milling an initial here and we wanna get you guys just loading your NC code into the machine and kind of experiencing what it is to do some milling. So I'm not going to, um, I'm not gonna go over like the long process that they go through to actually zero a machine. With that said, we still need to actually zero this machine, so we have to do the axes one at a time, all right? So the easiest one to do and the easiest one to see is the x-axis. So first of all, we've got to bring our bit above the part and we're going to use our little handy dial here and you're just going to move on the x and y axis. Uh-oh, switched on control, it's not working. All right, we can do it here. Okay, we're just going to move on the x and y axis So it's over the part, and we're gonna move down just a tiny bit until it's just barely touching the part. Okay, we don't wanna bang the bit into it. Um, luckily it's soft wood, so we don't have to worry about ruining the bit too much. But just until it's barely touching the part, and you go into setup, just like you did on your other machine, only this time we are only working with the Z axis, so you only change the Z to zero. Okay, so we're gonna set this position as zero. Okay, so only change the Z. I know you can't see the screen, but the Z axis you're gonna change to zero. Okay, so now that we have the Z axis changed, let me see if I can get this to work. Oh, we are going to back off the part a little bit. Okay, and we're gonna go over. We are going to line that bit up. See how close I got? We're gonna line that bit up right on the edge of it, okay? And that is the X axis going that way, all right? So we're gonna hit set up again, set position. So in the menu it says set up, set position. And now we're gonna change X to zero, all right? 
So x-axis is zero, hit OK. Don't touch the Z or the Y because you've already set Z up and now we just set X up and now we've got to set Y up. And Y, we are going to, see how I'm looking down this way? We want to set it up with the very front of the part. Okay. So I'm looking at that right there. I'm looking to see is the middle of this bit, is the middle of that bit, sorry, hopefully you're looking at it. It's the middle of that bit lined up with the edge of this part and it's pretty close, okay? So again, this is not a super accurate, like you're gonna get within 10 thousandths of an inch of accuracy of your, um, of your zero, but it's good enough for our purposes to get you guys on the milling machine and uh, using your first NC code, okay? So we're gonna hit set up, set position, and then we're gonna change Y to zero. All right, so now we have zero, 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 set position, and we're gonna verify that position by going, we're gonna say, set, let's see, set up, go to position, you can also hit F8, and we're gonna say go to position zero, zero, point one, and we're just gonna verify that our zero is correct. Okay, so it's asking me to close the shield. And it's right where zero, zero, zero is, uh, or zero, zero, point one. Remember, don't go, you don't wanna do zero on the Z axis because you'll bang the bit into the part. You wanna do it just above the part to make sure, to verify that your zero is correct. Um, now you're ready to start running the, your software. So the second step you wanna do, and this is a must, you must verify your code first. So we're gonna say quick verify, hit F5, and everything works. We have our A in there, and milled the A. And then once you verify it, you are um, ready to run your program. So you hit the green blade, run program. Okay, it's going to a safe position where I can change the tool out if I need to. It's already got tool one in there. That's what we set our zeros on. So we're actually ready to run. We can hit F5. Okay, you'll notice how I put my hand on the emergency stop. That's in case something horrible went wrong, and we can so we can actually stop the program right away. All right. So we're milling through. It's doing the A. Okay. So stopped our program. So we can now open up the windshield. And you can take a look. We've got our letter A milled in there, okay? So we can see that it was a little bit high, but that's all right. I'm not super worried about that. That's probably because the wood's bent or warped a little bit. But our very first, your very first NC program is run. Of course, you'll have three letters, so make sure you're gonna have three letters in there, but that is your absolute program. You'll flip the same block over, do the same process for your relative programming, and you can run it and run your relative program on the other side. So don't throw this away, don't lose it, because you're gonna use it again, okay? If you have any questions, as always, ask me in class. Um, send me an email. I will respond to it, and um, we can get you guys milling. So good luck.